Hi, this is Joe. I'm going to show you how to enable developer mode in Providence app to get extended features and cores. Go to settings menu, settings. Scroll to the bottom to the advanced section, click the about. Hold your finger on here for five seconds. Enter the Konami code up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Now it unlocks the feature flag debug. You can turn on various feature flags. I already have some set on. Contentless cores shows RetroArch cores that you can boot without any games. Some of these require BIOSes, so this isn't enabled yet by default because it's unclear which BIOSes they need. But this will unlock things like Palm OS, booting in directly into MAME, booting directly into Commodore 64, 128, a bunch of other Commodore systems, booting to MSX, booting into CDI, booting into 3DO. So that'll allow that. Unsupported cores unlocks, well, unsupported cores. Cores aren't really ready for prime time. So that's uh, things like the Quake engine, though I think I might unlock that now. Uh, there's a lot of cores, a lot of RetroArch cores that aren't documented yet. The BIOSes aren't documented yet, so they're not really ready for public consumption. But if you know how to look up the RetroArch documentation, then those will be there. This actually, I think, unlocks one negative core uh, this will unlock the dreamcast core for instance that requires just in time compilation for it to work so really for debugging anyway so that's uh that's uh, the advanced feature flag mode and if you want to turn that off for some reason you can hit the reset button it'll go back to the original about screen and then you can always go back and reactivate okay well this has been joe for providence thank you